You think it's embarrassing to fart in public, not everyone does. There was a man in the last century who made a real business out of farting. His name was Joseph Pugel. He was born in France in 1857 and was known for his phenomenal control of abdominal muscles, which allowed him to control the emission of intestinal gases. He discovered this amazing ability when he was a child. One summer day in the mid-1860s, a little boy Joseph decided to dive into the sea with his chest full of air. While he was underwater, water entered his anus. The boy was frightened by the unusual sensation and ran ashore. On land, he burst into a fountain, which he himself was dumbfounded by. In time, the shock passed, and little Joseph realized that he had not a defect, but a gift from God. Joseph went to school, then worked as a baker at his father's bakery and eventually went to serve in the French army. One day Joseph blabbed to his fellow soldiers about his major childhood event and they demanded a demonstration. A couple of days later, the experiment took place with positive results. Moreover, the successful soldier Pugil discovered that by working his abdominal and anal muscles, he could allow himself to draw in as much water as he needed and then spew it out with the required speed and force. This trick became the number one entertainment in the barracks. And in the meantime Pugil began to experiment not with water, but with air. Training allowed him to develop his gift, learn to make various sounds with his anus. And for the rest of his life he proudly wore the army nickname Le Potoman, i.e. Pook Man or simply Fart. After returning from military service, Pugil married a butcher's daughter and devoted his life to popularizing his gift. He performed on various stages, gradually adding various tricks to his repertoire. With the help of his anus, Le Petomain played the trombone skipped the Marseilles and extinguished candles. Finally, in 1890 to Joseph Pugel called in the legendary Parisian cabaret Moulin Rouge. He made a sensation with his witty numbers, directed by himself. He portrayed farts of people of different categories, little girls, mothers-in-law, brides, etc. He portrayed natural phenomena, various mechanical sounds, played with his butt on the flute. Stiff-looking ladies were delighted by his performances. Among his admirers were such famous people as Sigmund Freud, the Prince of Wales, the Kings of Belgium and Ireland. Salvador Dali called Pugels the greatest artist of all time. The genius's fees overtook Sarah Bernhardt's in her most stellar hours. But three years later Pugel with the owner of the Moulin Rouge had a misunderstanding, and Le Petamain had to leave the institution. Ambitious man Pook opened his own theater of the Pompadour. There he performed not alone and arranged the whole theatrical performance together with friends and sons. Soon the public got tired of farting maestro and began to visit the theater Joseph less and less. Often, the sons of the fading star was drafted into the war, from which they returned seriously traumatized morally and physically. Le Petamain lost interest in his work and became a baker again, living a measured life until 1945. The medical school wanted to buy his remains, but his relatives refused the sacrilegious deal. One of the American museums keeps a sealed capsule with gases from the great farts intestines. Until it is opened, Joseph Pugel remains with us as a unique example of the human race.